Um, but before we get to Cosmos uh, and the latest integration, um, I met uh, Eric Forhees a couple of months, and he's a giant fan of you guys. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I learned about crypto, he was like, you know, I watched his videos when he, when he was on stage debating with Peter Schiff um, back in the day. <laughs> so um, That's a great video, by the way. That's an absolute uh, gem, absolute gem uh, in crypto. But um, he is a Bitcoiner, right? Uh, primarily, he's, he's a giant Bitcoiner, um, but he's also not a maximalist or like a fanatic, like just mm -hmm. tied to Bitcoin, everything else is a scam. And he's super excited about that aspect that you can just trade Bitcoin natively. You can buy Bitcoin, um, native Bitcoin, without doing KYC, right? Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you can talk a little bit about that, like what would be the, the benefits for, for people and uh, do you guys also have um, fiat on ramps natively integrated, or is that something that's maybe coming? Or I think Thor Wallet is actually another project is working on fiat on ramps and on ramps. I think they're going to support uh, like a hundred thousand dollars a year. I think to be able to trade in, in and out from, with with fiat. If I'm not mistaken, I'll look into that. But um, yeah, I mean, this has been a problem. What the problem that we're solving is a project to be able to move between blockchains seamlessly. It's something that like. Uh, Eric Voorhees has been working on since like since he formed Shapeshift back in 2014. Like this has been a problem like in his for in his foresight, right? To, like this is something we need to solve as an industry. And there's not a single like rational person in this entire industry who would argue with me that we don't need to centralize mechanisms to move between chains. Like no one would argue with me on this point. And so when Eric learned about Thorchain, and after going through years of struggle with Shapeshift and like trying to be a decentralized mechanism to get between chains, but then like KYC was kind of forced upon him and shapeshift and like that whole headache that happened to him. Like he realized that, that what we've designed and implemented is a completely practical and usable method to have good liquidity to move between, you know, Bitcoin to Ethereum to any chain out there. And that was like a big thing, a big deal in his head because you really can't have the most decentralized, you know, cryptocurrency in the world like Bitcoin and then use centralized mechanisms to get in and out of it. Like that's just kind of, almost comical in some sense, right? So like we need to get to a place where we can move in and out into centralized mechanism. I think Thorchain is certainly that mechanism to do so. Yeah, and I think um, even now you could probably, um, because I think MetaMask has, what is it, MoonPay integrated. So you could probably mm -hmm. buy Ethereum there, send it over to Thorchain and just buy Bitcoin with Ethereum. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's... Um, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of look at it as bring your own on or off ramp, whatever you like and you know, once you're connected to the Thorchain ecosystem, you can move between any chain freely. Um, yeah. You know, I, I don't know if we're ever going to have a good solution to interact with the government's banking system without their permission. I don't really think so. But uh, maybe someday we can just do on ramp only and then just never off. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. maybe in a day where like we have CBDCs, possibly mm -hmm. maybe then it becomes more practical from a from an engineering perspective. But the you know political Goal slash regulatory perspective is still as sticky as it is now. Yeah.